Hi, this is Governor Rick Snyder. And I thought it appropriate, given all the, the, the questions and issues coming up on Detroit, I spent a couple minutes talking about the city and how we want to help the city. Now, the city should be responsible for itself. The mayor and the city council are responsible for running the city. Our role is to be a supporting resource. And when you look at this process that when you hear about emergency managers and everything else, my goal is to ever avoid having to employ an emergency manager. That's a failure point. And one of the things we did when we revised the statute, and this statute goes back to Governor Blanchard in terms of going back 20 years or so, is we actually put in an early warning system to say, how can we work with communities to avoid the situation of having an emergency manager? So that's why we put in the process of preliminary reviews, reviews, consent agreements, ways to work together. Um, so these are very important questions and we're going through that process. And I really want to encourage the mayor and city council to partner together, to come up with a plan that we can join in and we can all work together on achieving. This isn't a time to be divisive, this is a time to be inclusive where all the parties come together for a common solution. And I'm always gonna encourage that outlook and philosophy. Now in terms of the issues themselves, I view there are two critical issues that do need to be addressed. One, there's a short-term cash issue. Um, we can't have the city run out of money and hopefully the city can come up with a program to get through the crisis the mayor has talked about, about potentially running out of cash in April. The second issue is a very difficult one, which is a long-term structural solution. Because we can't continue this process. Detroit's been a financial crisis in some fashion for decades. Let's get a long-term structural solution so we can focus on all the good things going on in Detroit. Until this recent crisis, I was proud every time when people would ask me about Detroit, the first things that I would start talking about is the housing rate in midtown Detroit, about it being 98% occupied. Talking about good things going on in the city rather than having to dwell on these negative financial issues. I want to get back to that. And so we do need a long-term structural solution that takes into account the liabilities, the other things that need to happen. But the fundamental thing we need to do is create an environment where Detroiters can have a good life. And that gets down to some basic services. And we need to make sure those basic services are being provided consistently for the long term because that's not happening today. And what do I need, mean by these basic services? One, we need to do a better job of helping people find jobs. We're working on it at that state level with mitalent.org, our new portal, but we need to work harder in Detroit to say how do we connect people with appropriate positions not just jobs, but careers. But then you keep going down that list. We need a school where kids can safely walk to school and get a good education, to know there are teachers and administrators focused on student growth. We need to make sure the lights are on, the street lights are on, that the trash is being picked up. And very importantly, we need to make sure there's good public safety, where there's police and fire coverage. When people call, there's a response. And one of the last ones that's also created a lot of controversy is we need to have public transit. I've been a big advocate of public transit all across Michigan because many people in Michigan that have cars don't understand how critically important it is. It's the way that many people get to their job or get to school and have a good opportunity. So we're focused on all those items. And so I really encourage the city as they look at these issues, how do they deliver down that list of items to make sure there are long-term good results and we're going to be there as a supporting resource in partnership. So I appreciate the opportunity to share these things with you. This will be a continuing dialogue, so please ask any questions, give us feedback so we can make sure we answer your issues. Thank you.